Hi, I'm Felissa Rose, Angela from Sleepaway Camp, and you're watching Psycho Wreck. Till he returns or calls me home Here in the power of Christ I stand on. Richard Wayne Penniman was born on December 5th, 1932 in Macon, Georgia. Growing up with a slim frame, everyone started calling him Little Richard, hence how the name stuck. His upbringing was very religious, with his mom and dad both being prominent members of the church. Yet his father also owned a nightclub and bootleg moonshine while working as a brick mason. Richard loved singing in church, and he was gifted with a great voice. However, according to some sources, they would explain how Richard would sometimes take it a little over the top, where he would scream and holler, which earned him the nickname Warhawk. When he entered high school, he got a part-time job at the Macon City Auditorium, where he sold Coca-Cola to the crowds during concerts. One day, on October of 1947, Little Richard was overheard by Rosetta Tharp as he was singing one of her songs. Impressed by his talent, she invited him to open her show. It was a success. He was paid for his performance, and this kicked off his inspiration to become a professional singer. Besides singing, Little Richard was a master at playing the piano. Also during the time in his life, Richard was subjected to teasing, abuse, and questions about his sexuality. It stated that during his childhood, he would only play with girls and was called many degrading homosexual slurs because of the way he talked, walked, or dressed, and was disciplined by his father when he caught Richard wearing his mother's wigs and makeup, for it was shunned upon in his family for them being of the Christian faith. It eventually led him to being kicked out by his father at age 15. From that point on, Little Richard spent many of his years trying to make a name for himself, performing in clubs, army bases, and the famous Chitlin Circuit, for this was the time during racial segregation of blacks and whites. Famous as being dubbed the founding father of rock, Little Richard, along with many black entertainers, helped break down racial barriers that kept black and white segregated. He did so with many musical hits such as Every Hour, Keep A Knockin', Lucille, Good Dolly Miss Molly, Tweety Fruity, and my personal favorite, Long Tall Sally. His success would eventually lead him to touring Europe, where one of his opening acts were none other than the Beatles. This was before they became famously known. As years went by and times began to change, so did Little Richard. For during the 1980s and 90s, he began getting into film and television, where he did commercials for companies such as McDonald's, Taco Bell, Nike, Sprint PCS, Revlon, where he promoted their Charlie fragrance with supermodel Cindy Crawford, Lipton, and Geico. His TV and film appearances include shows such as Down and Out in Beverly Hills, Goddess of Love, Pee Wee's Playhouse, Blossom, Martin, Hollywood Squares, and Full House. And who could forget that famous catchphrase? Shut up! His style and look also inspired many other performers such as Jamie Foxx and former wrestler Mark Merrill who wrestled under the name Johnny B. Bad. As he continued to do performances while well into his golden years, Eventually, Little Richard gave up the fame and fortune to pursue his faith, 
where in 2017, he gave a long interview with Three Angels Broadcasting Network, giving his testimony. Sadly, it was announced by many breaking news networks that on May 9th, this year of 2020, Little Richard passed away in Nashville, Tennessee after a long, hard fight with bone cancer. Little Richard's career is a very memorable one, which is often imitated, but it can never be duplicated. He has a long lasting legacy where he has been proudly dubbed the founding father of rock. He has many honors, which includes many inductees into lots of Hall of Fames, such as the Rock and Roll, the NAACP, and he has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's still unknown to when his funeral arrangements are going to be or where he's going to be buried. But I'd just like to say, rest in peace to Little Richard. He was 87 years old. I'm Psycho Rick. Thanks for watching. Till he returned or comes me home, here in the power of Christ.